Higgins Trophy. Before the real action begins, there's been a lot of chat, a lot of predictions. Let's see how it all unfolds. Eight frames to play. And it's first to nine to win the £100,000 first prize. Thank you, the first frame. Judd Trump to break. Waterfront Hall in Belfast, a place host to the Northern Ireland Open final. Judd Trump looking for a fifth title. He's only lost four frames all week. Coral Wilson has lost 12. They're both going to be up for it, clearly. This is uh, a match between the top two ranked players in the world. Also, there's only two years between them in terms of age. They're very much from the same generation. And now that Wilson's world champion, it does add an extra layer to the rivalry. This red's kind of a bit close to this pocket. How do you see this one, Joe? It's hard to call, it's one to enjoy. <laughs> no, it's hard to call, isn't it? It really is, but you've got to be able to enjoy this match. Number one in the world against number two. World champion. All to boot, defending champion. Yeah, it's all there. And it's so exciting. Packed house, which adds to the atmosphere. Well, Karen yeah, it was nearly straight. He did well to pot it, actually. And it's no big deal going in off. He hasn't left anything. He could have wobbled and been on a colour. Yeah, I think both players up for this. They both respect each other immensely. You heard that from the interviews. Well, the head head is close. It's 12-10 to Trump, but delving into the, the figures, they've only played three matches in session, which, of course, this will be. They've all been won by Karen Wilson, and they've played four finals, and Wilson's won three of them. Interesting facts, those, aren't they? You know, all the longer matches, Kyron's won. <coughs> Judd Trump looking for a 30th ranking title, which would leave him just one behind John Higgins, who's currently in third place on that list. Wilson, he would be ranking title number eight. I think the safety is going to play a big part in this match because whoever gets the most chances, in my opinion, is going to win because they both take their chances very well. No mistake, they'll be feeling nerves. Looking at that possible plant. We did get a look at it a moment ago. Get that back to the rafters. Yeah, great shot. Trump looked at the plant, but there was another red in the way, so he couldn't take it on. But when Trump played the safety shot, it opened the way for that plant, and not scared of going <coughs> for them, is he? Chance just to, to hit a few shots now. There's been so much talk and build up to this final. Now it's time to try and relax into it. Of course, their last meeting was in a final in China, the Xiang Grand Prix, a new ranking event which Wilson won 10 8 a couple of months back. Eight. <coughs> well, let's put the black out of play. The pink looks to be available to the right middle and possibly the left corner. Can't get to it. On, but he could play up for one of the bought colours just to be on the safe side. He could play for the blue, but that's risky. If he goes up for the, one right. of the bought colours, it's easy enough to come back down the table.
12. Well, if Karen Wilson were to win, he would become only the sixth first time world champion to win multiple ranking events this season. Now, obviously, eras differ and there's been various numbers of tournaments. This is the seventh ranking event of this season, but only five previous world champions the following season have won more than one ranking event. It is difficult, don't need to tell. Obviously, Joe was there in 86, 87. Difficult sometimes to adjust 18. to the different have, but Karen Wilson has adjusted better than most. Tournament in very early season already. Nice. Yeah, it eases the pressure knowing that you've got quite a lot of tournaments now. You know, back in the day, some of the world champions just had four or five tournaments to play in. So when he won his first event of the year, Karen Wilson, that certainly alleviated the pressure. And he's playing like a world champion, isn't he? He played ever so well to the championship. But I think, as was stated in the studio, that he's a better player now. He's got his confidence and he's going to take some stopping today. Yeah, and Trump was in the same position. He actually won six ranking titles the year he was world champion. 22. So he will understand the confidence that it brings his opponent. That's something that will be there in his mind. He knows he's got to play well today. He's played well all week, but this by far the biggest challenge against someone on top of the world. Well, moving the reds away from the pink spot is going to make the pink easier to get to. Terrific shot that he got in with, wasn't it? The plant. Good kisses to stay on the black for sure, but 29. still the bravery to go for it. Just overrun a little. This is the plant. He had to make it. It wasn't set to the pocket. And tried to hold for the black, which he did. He's had a couple of scares this week. Couple of four threes. David Grace took him to four three. And Anthony McGill. Thirty five. That's what he's saying, of course, about his World Championship final against Jack Jones. He won the first seven frames. So he's got previous at starting a final impressively. Being ready from the off. Wasn't a bad safety shot that Judd played, was it? But there was a plant there. And he was Forces. brave enough to take on. And that's one thing that both these players will have to do in this final. Go for the shots. Sometimes they're going to go in and sometimes they're not. Even though it's a 17 frame match, opening frame of any match, certainly a final can feel significant because, from opponent's perspective, you're thinking, How's he feeling today? How's he looking? If he gets a chance straight away, can he take it? And those questions are being answered here, aren't they? Yeah, good point. Although, I think these two will be thinking more about themselves, but yeah, dead right, don't. It just depends how your opponent is feeling as well. Now, the two reds just below the pink are available. So, it just needs another red in the colour. 
And what an opening 50. start for Karen Wilson. And how many times do we see it? Great player. Often start the game with a big break and win the frame in one. Seen it so many times. 55. <coughs> yes, it's one of those finals. They both know they're going to have to play really well. And that suggests they both will. So, promises to be a great spectacle. Looks like Wilson's going to land the first blow. Well, if he takes it on, just got to be the push shot. It's just one snooker. <clears throat> to play a shot that will allow. Judd Trump to free the black. And if he sends the cue ball over this end of the table, over the right side, he'll be able to free the black. Karen Wilson, 58. Well, it's a sharp start from Wilson, 58. Judd Trump needs a snooker. like to have carried on and not given Trump any table time. What? Terrific shot. Nice angle on the well up the two reds. But he is gonna need blacks. The red next to the black, of course, in a, a great place for a snooker. Seven. <coughs> Eight. Yeah, just overrun there. Needs two snookers now. Yeah, got to get behind the red to be able to lay a good snooker. And again, just over him as he did the last shot, playing for the pink. Needs a bounce. Now, the snooker, easy enough. But can he put distance between things? 20. <laughs> well, he didn't wow. want that. Of all the things to happen. But it saved him, actually, if he can pot the black. Still two snookers. <laughs> well, the referee was going to get the black out there, wasn't he? He thought it was in. Didn't drop, though. So, that's a concession. We're off and running on this... Super Sunday in Belfast, the North. Not least, of course, for this final. Oh, he's left a, a red sticking out <coughs> on the right side of the table. Trump just coming down to see where he wants to be on the black. Leave anything. If he missed. Great pot. Great. 
Terrific pop. Yeah, nice little cannon to leave himself on the red to the right corner. Eight. Yeah, I think he's played consistently well all week. Sometimes he says himself he, he struggles through early rounds, but right from the off against Ishbrook no. Singchada, he looked good. Of course, he's had a tough draw. He had to beat uh, Barry Hawkins and Sean Murphy. But whenever he's been pressed in, in frames, he's made clearances. He's just raised his game when he's had to. And of course, it may well come down to that this evening. Yeah, he spoke about that in his interview, didn't he? And he's proud that he's made those clearances. That wasn't a good cannon. Played for the red directly above the black. 60. Caught that red too thick. He'll be disappointed with that positional shot. Get some 60. Karen Wilson will think he's been let off there. I'm sure he was expecting a bigger break than that. Amazing there isn't that you know for all the talk of the best of sevens or a lottery and anyone could beat anyone we've got the two highest ranked players in the world in the final it's quite a rare thing actually last happened uh, back in january at the world grand prix trump and o'sullivan Close was that. And although he may have left a red on here, it might not be so simple to get to a colour. Terrific long putter. Uh, Wilson. Yeah, not easy to get to a colour. One. Just now he's covered the right hand side of the reds, which makes things a little bit more difficult for Kyron. He was there to have gone for the long red and not left anything on.
the full ball kiss on the yellow. He's tempting Judd Trump to take one of these long reds on. Such Q power. And nicely on the yellow. So now Trump gets a chance, and it's a good one. Three. Whatever angle you see that from, it gets more <laughs> impressive, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, talk about bulldozing your way in. But there was value to it. I mean, he would have been on the yellow. He just overruns this one, though. And that's, that's a mistake. Very careless, isn't it? You know, he was in. He's been in twice now. Misjudged the cannon earlier on. And he's overrun. He did that a couple of times in the last frame when he was playing for the pink. So, just the safety. Disappointing. Just Trump four. Very good safety. Tight to the cushion. He's annoyed though. After the spectacular red. Break came to a premature end. Judd Trump's made five centuries this week. Wilson two. These players, very good safety players. We know about the scoring ability. Break building. Karen Wilson's had five maximums. Judd Trump, eight. So, yeah, they can score for sure, but the safety is excellent as well. But that's another mistake from Trump. <clears throat> Lethal on these kind of shots normally. One. Yeah, great shot. Now, can you see enough of the blue? It makes a difference. Shot. Six. And this is going to hurt Trump if he should lose this frame. He's had two really good chances. Spots held. 30. So that allows him to pot the red to the middle. Well, I'm saying it allows him to pot it, but.
Forty. Of course, his Thanks. first ranking title, the Shanghai Masters 2015, he beat Trump in the final. 10 9, he had been 7 2 up. Oh, he's missed that one. Yeah, that's a let off for Trump. Karen Wilson he didn't quite hit the pink hard enough when he potted it into the corner. But he's still expecting him to pot that. Yeah, I mean, it's still early, obviously, but he was looking to sort of punish what? Trump's positional area earlier on when he didn't get on the black. There's going to be mistakes, of course, and that's what obviously makes it such compelling viewing. It's not just the skill, it's the unexpected. Meanwhile, he's finished slightly the wrong side of the blue to get back to the reds. can see it's just slightly the wrong side. I mean, you could just drop it in and play the double. It would be fairly safe. Taking this long pot on. Six. And it just passes the red. Shot, played for the brown with safety in mind. And if the red he's got the perfect angle on the brown to come reds. Clever shot. So Trump doesn't need that safe red on the left side cushion. Eleven. Terrific pot and positional play there. Twelve. Yeah, he could have done without the kiss. And this is a tester. the double. So I Karen see. Wilson may be coming back to the table. possibility of a plant but there's a big gap there he could play the double and there's no danger couldn't leave anything on except the ready was playing oh what a plant what a plant he's found there surely a frame winner i mean he pulls out some shots doesn't he i mean that was it's a part one of those two reds <laughs> Amazing shot, wasn't it? Again, looking to see if this red will go to the corner. It looks tight. It will go to the middle. And I think he can get to it. To the middle pocket. He'd like it to go to this corner pocket, though.
Yeah, I think that's a safer bet. He would have liked 20s. to have taken it to the call. It was much easier. Twenty-seven. So many centuries, and of course, he's made over a thousand. In his, his breaks can be very adventurous, but he's just such a great potter. He keeps it going. So he needs this red, and barring snookers, it will be one apiece. Needed a few chances. Now will it be handed? So Wilson needs a snooker, he's going to be in one. Judge from 35. So this game not over yet. They could pop this red, play the pink or black. Oh. Even the blue. Very important red, Judge Trump missed. Seen many a game won from just one Six. snooker. Yep, he knew as soon as he struck it, he'd miss the red to the middle. Needs to miss the pink. Karen was from six. Just a little afraid of hitting the black if he comes off the cushion. He just gets a little bit too much left hand side on the cue ball. He'll make contact with the black. that hurdle but this is all anxiety you didn't need and if you'd have potted the red to right middle we'd be racking them up for frame three now good effort but should be so of a fraction slower it wasn't easy to hit Yeah, he sort of gave it a kick of the foot there, Corin, didn't he? As if, as if that was going to make it a snooker. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, unfortunately.
I think you can get behind the black with a lot of left hand side on the cue ball. <coughs> Well, there's the snooker. This game live again. Karen wants some four. He's got the option and then play again or taking the shot himself. Can't have it replaced, because Lucas. But that's a very good safety, isn't it? Please, from there. Yep, and he's misjudged it. That misread to the middle from Trump. Well, we weren't sure in the commentary box. But now he's favourite for this frame now. This is the Trump. Uh, this is the red that Trump missed. Yeah, same pocket. The yellow looked like it might be a little high, but no, it went in. It's early in the final, but this is already a big, big moment. Frame that shows yeah. how much this will hurt Judd. A little short of pace. Five. But he should be able to get to the blue from there, in and out of Bork. Nine. And just a little heavy. And that will do nicely. Twenty. Well, Judd Trump really should have won that frame. He had Wilson needing a snooker. He himself had the last red to kill it off. Missed it. Wilson got the snooker. And he's made the clearance. Dramatic stuff then here at the waterfront. Karen. So Judd Trump just has to look forward, not back, and try and get involved. Highest break, only 35 for him so far. Yeah, he could go back a couple of shots previous to that ready mist and he had a red into the corner pocket and it was an easy red and he chose to play it right-handed to the black and he had to play the snooker. Now, if he'd have potted that and the I'm sure Karen would have given in. And he played it right-handed and left himself just behind the black, so he played the snooker. It was only one snooker from that point on. He could be thinking about that as well. <laughs> May have 
left to red to the right corner. If you can take it on and miss the black, red and black together. I think so, but there is a cut to the corner. Very close. Played the safety as well. down. Uh, it's too hard for the green. It would be very risky to Just trouble. No doubt this is one of the great venues now on the circuit, the Waterfront Hall. Tournament has become a real favourite of the players as well. Foul, no miss. Two trump four. Yeah. Rob Spencer is the referee in charge. Yeah, Karen Wilson said when he won the semi final yesterday, you know, he's really looking forward just to the occasion today. Never mind playing or what it even meant just to actually get the chance to play in this final because Trump is well used to the, the atmosphere here he's a four times champion Heavy this time, and he's left a possible chance at the red because he got the speed wrong. Just got to be careful, doesn't want to go 3 0 down. So just the attempted snooker again. Just from there. Foul, and a miss. Just trump uh, It's fortunate that it wasn't a fraction harder. He'd have yeah. had an easy red to the left corner. Could be tempted this red to the middle or the corner. The 
Archon is dangerous. Safety in mind. And they're very difficult Good shots time. to play. And the cue ball's tied to the cushion just to land up behind the yellow. Seeing those type of shots short, not reaching the yellow. A little heavy again. And this time, I think he has left a red on. Could be awkward queuing. In fact, he may need the spider. <coughs> Looks easy on TV, doesn't it? The red to the left corner. Such a good shot. Cue ball should have been close to the cushion. Yeah, and you could say a let off there. <coughs> Judd Trump doesn't normally miss those type of shots. Chance to get him behind the brown. Again, just at a little shorter pace. This gonna finish. <coughs> Got nothing easy left. He's hands up, but there is a red to the left corner. I'm pretty sure he'll take it on, but he won't know where the cue ball's gonna go. <coughs> Doesn't have to take it on, of course. There's a big difference because Karen Wilson can afford to take reds on like he did there. Trump. It's got to be sure about the pots. Yeah, if anything, it's got a bit edgy since that second frame. What happened there? But Trump certainly. Looking to keep things tight in this frame. <laughs> Try and fashion a good chance. Possibility of a double here, along with the safety.
Very close. Very close. Calculus. He found the gap. Tap on the table there. For... He knows he played a very good shot there. is causing Judd a problem here. Very easy to make contact with black. Caught it much too thick. Now what's the damage, if anything? Red next to the green will go. It's a little fortunate there, Trump. Could have easily left something easier. Than Yes, I mean, it's talked about how proficient he is with the rest, but every rest shot is different, and this is a tough one. Yeah, good shot. He <laughs> it. It was trying to cover the red. With the brown and yellow. If you can get to a red from here, the reds are so inviting. Well, he must be feeling good after that second frame. That was, I know it's a long match, but that was a real blow to land against a very confident opponent. Six. A little tester. Seven. Right in the middle. Yeah, he's in business now. Get the black on its spot and the chance to build up a, a 3 0 lead in this match. Been said all week that he's sort of picked up his pace as well. He, he looks confident. He's got a good look in the arena. And why wouldn't you, having scaled the mountain that is the crucible? Yes, thanks. Because he's worked so hard for it, Kyron, throughout his life. He always believed he could do it. He'd had a bad season going to Sheffield, but it didn't make any difference once he got there. Something clicked. And he withstood the Jack Jones comeback as well. It was getting a tiny sticky, but got over the line. The tears came, the family came out. Wonderful scenes. 50. And he's the sort of character, once he's climbed one mountain, he wants to climb another. Keep adding to the, the record. Win as many while he's feeling this good. Plenty of action on the cue ball there, wasn't there? He wasn't quite sure what was going to happen, but gave every chance to be on the red. Twenty-eight. 
23. And it, it doesn't matter who you are, you don't really settle until you've won a frame. <laughs> and he hasn't settled yet. No chances. Thirty eight. Um, another rest shot. He could have. Left the cue ball closer to the blue and not rest, but he's so confident with the rest. Just leave, need to leave the cue ball where the red is, and he's got an easy pink to the middle with reds to follow. Maybe you should just play every shot with the rest, because <laughs> he'd he probably never lose then. Very rarely see him miss, do we? in front, another red and a colour, and it's looking like 3-0. <coughs> He wants to kill what happened in the last frame 65. when there was one snooker needed. That's the position we're at. So this red should be frame ball. And in 66. it goes. <laughs> Judd Trump was very conscious in this frame to try and use safety to just keep Wilson out. But in the Still end, nice. he did get in and he stayed in. Great start to this final for Wilson, who's now looking to certainly win the session and put the pressure on Trump and they come out tonight. He only needs two more frames this afternoon. He's guaranteed to be in front. 82. 
when they return at seven. So break ends at 81, and Karen Wilson on 4 0 down. But it does feel like he needs to win this frame. He needs to get involved in this final and just get a foothold as they go to the first interval. Wilson, though, will be determined to keep it. He just made an 81 break to win that last frame. Right, he's brought a red down the table. Can Judd see it? Well, not sure from there whether he can see enough of it to pot it. And the red that's closest to the right corner, very difficult and very risky. Yeah, and that was the problem. He knew the cue ball was going into the reds. Had he potted the red, nicely on the blue. So, an early chance. Kyron. Focus is so important because one shot, as we know, can turn it back again. An unexpected slip up from Wilson could be just what this man, Judd Trump, needs to get properly involved in the match. to have been Three. on one of those two reds just to the right of the black and that would have brought the black into play but I just don't think it's come far enough he always knew he had this red to the left corner six out of six with the rest Perfectly played. Four. And that looks just about right. What a good positional shot, Karen Wilson. A couple of ways of playing the shot. He could just drop it in and leave the cue ball next to the other red, or try and screw onto the black. Yeah, and that's what he tried. And that's end of break. 
to the relief of Judd Trump because that could have gone so good. Catch the black a little bit thicker. Well, he's caught the brown much too thin and he's invited Judd to have a go at this, but there's danger attached. Yeah, and he didn't want to take the risk. Uh, has he covered the red? It doesn't appear so. No, we can get to it. Oh. Yeah, it was unfortunate, the gap between the green and the blue, but he could also have taken the red on. And if we sat there thinking, well, I may as well have took the red on now. Miss, then he's nudged the red. So he can't take the red on. He has had the run of the far. This was cruel. It's funny, though, isn't it? How pre interval frames can seem than, than maybe they should. I mean, the fact is, it's a 17 frame match. This is frame four, but there's going to be a 15 minute interval coming up. And Wilson obviously determined to go there 4 0, really put Trump under pressure during that interval to try and find something. Equally, Trump determined to get a frame on the board. Foul, from the miss. <laughs> well, Just somehow four. found that gap and not reached the Reds. Clever safety shot, that. He could have had it replaced, but look where he's placed the cue ball. The pink is stopping the return safety. So, this is still awkward, Karen Wilson. That Trump is under it. Remember, he'd only lost four frames in the whole tournament before the final. He's already lost the first three here. Yeah, Trump potted one like that earlier. And this time, I don't think he's got away with it. I think the red will pass the brown. So, some work to do, but an easy starter.
Come on. Well, 24 minutes it was between pots for Trump until he knocked that in. This is his 47th ranking final, so he's been in every position you can be in over the years. No time to uh, panic yet. Uh, he could play the cannon to green here. If he missed the green, he'd be on the red. But his brain really not working to full capacity at the moment. Five. <coughs> Five. Yep, and that's the end of break. Just from five. And I'm not sure if he's got safe there. but not the best kiss in the world. Excellent pot. Now, has he found two reds by the pink spot? Six. Now, can they be made? Karen Wilson, six. <clears throat> yeah, difficult to get back to bulk from there, the pink. Obstructing the reds. Well, obviously it wasn't. And that was a mistake from Judge Trump.
Now Gray Pot found the gap. Now kiss um, for it to hold up. Now can he get to a red from the yellow? Again, he hasn't played that one well. Three. Self hampered by the brown. He could have took that long red on to the corner. He might still take it a lot more difficult now. Where's that red going to finish? Not good for Judd Trump. No, these are worrying. He struggled, hasn't he? And even the frame, the second frame, like he would win. That was all bits and pieces. He was losing position, eventually, of course, missed that red. But even before that, it wasn't as clinical as he has been this week. So this is Wilson's chance to really take control of the match. If he can win this frame 4-0. Well, it's a great lead. If he's dropped on the pink there, that's a real bonus. He always knew he was going to be on the black, worst case scenario. But the pink, and he can open more reds up. Get the pink back on its spot. Yeah, it's uh, help yourself time, isn't it, for the world champ here? Seven. But if he doesn't win, then this is what he'll think about at the interval because it's a golden chance you've got to, to press on into a four frame lead. Eight. Just overrun a, a little, but he always knew he 12. had the red to the middle. Twenty five. Beautifully played. Beautiful cannon. 
To leave himself perfect on black or pink. Yes, so two more pots and it's looking like 4 0. I'm sure Judd's brother, 33. Jack, will have plenty to say in the interval. Still a long way to go, but clearly the second half of this session 34. is about damage limitation for Trump to make sure he's within striking distance coming back this evening. Wilson, on the other hand, will be looking to pull away. Second frame was big, wasn't it? Trump looked to have won it. Wilson needed a snooker when Trump missed that red to the right middle. Of course, he got the snooker. 42. He won the frame, and he's firmly on top. So, Judd Trump there. 49. Needing this interval to get his head together, call on his vast experience. 50. And get properly involved in this final when they come back. It was always an interesting rivalry between these two because they're of a very similar age, come through the same sort of junior structure. But it's become more so, obviously, now that Wilson is world champion. Trump, all the stats were favouring Trump. But now Wilson's won the biggest tournament in the game. His status has changed. Really transformed him. Some players struggle as world champion. He's doing the opposite, he's thriving. Judd Trump's highest break, just 35 in these four frames. Wilson has made 58, 81, Trump and 77. Judd Trump's a break. Big four frames to come then. Judd Trump trying to make this a lot closer and Karen Wilson trying to all but put it beyond doubt. They both know it's not over yet. Judd Trump here led Ronnie O'Sullivan 4-0 in the World Grand Prix final last season, was beaten 10-7. And Karen Wilson in 2023 led Sean Murphy 4-0 in the Tour Championship final, was beaten 10-7. This is first to nine, but there's still a lot of frames potentially to go. But no doubt about it, these four are massive. <coughs> well, that could have been a mistake. If Trump could see this red. And he can. These have got to start going in. Actually, the kiss could have been kinder. The black is not a gimme. No, it was the pink. Cut it. Just some more. And he's left a red on with the rest. Nine out of nine with the rest so far, Karen Wilson. Just about the right spot to split the reds open. <clears throat> yes, it could play for the red into the right centre, but this looks too good an opportunity 
to go into them and spread them. He's finished on a red. You can get to the black. Seven. And this is already looking very ominous. And it's only two balls. Eight. All the predictions were whoever you were going for, it'd be close, but it doesn't always turn out that way. The players are so good, they can all sort of dominate a match. Judd Trump found that out last season at the Champion of Champions, Mark Allen beating 10-3. It was another match that, you know, had the feel of being close, but they don't always turn out that way. That that's pinky that's... missed, he needed something easier, I guess. It was just a bit awkward, and when you're not really involved in a match, you don't want those so early in frames. Fulton. He would like to get the black on its spot as quickly as possible, but there's no red to play for from the black. Or well, more difficult. So probably just concentrate on the pink for the time being. Twenty. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Yeah, the red by the pink spot. A good red to play. That frees that pink spot area. 32. So, if it pots the pink, we'll go to more pockets 30. now. 30. Reverse side on the cue ball. Come out nicely for the Reds. 39. Bolton. It wasn't too difficult a pink, but as David said, he could have done with a little bit easier just to get his arm going. It's one of those, wasn't it? If he was 4 0 up, you'd have fancied him all day for it. But 4 0 down, struggling, not so much. This is the pink, just overcutting it. We finished on a red, which Karen duly knocked in, and then split the pack wide open. These two loose reds should be enough. The four reds surrounding the pink all look to be covering one another, so... 
What was that? These two reds would be enough to leave Judd Trump needing snookers. Well, 90 minutes playing time. And Karen Wilson has been monopolising things. If he wins this frame, of course, he's guaranteed lead coming back this evening. And then there's the chance to really make it a commanding one. 54. Well, all on this shot. If he plays a little cannon here and finishes on one, it's 5-0. He's on one. Six. Six. Yes, Six. so the missed pink thoroughly punished. Yeah, it couldn't have gone any worse, really, for Trump. He's missed the shot on the pink, left it right over the pocket. Kyron immediately it's left the cue up. ball on the cushion where he knew he could open the reds from the pink. And from there, 68. well, he's never looked like missing, has he? A man full of confidence. Seventy-four. 75. Wilson, 75. It's a quick Karen kill Ray. from the missed pink. Karen Wilson has made 75, and the world champion ploughs on. He's only four. Once again, he's left this long red sticking out. And these shots become tougher and tougher the further you go behind. I think he may have left a chance at this red by the green. Not the easiest of starters. He's got it. Played for the black. And although it's tough, he'll be going for it. And it's there. Fortunately for Trump, the positional side of the shot didn't work out, but he had to put everything into the pot. Thanks. Just looking to see if this red will go into the left corner.
nice. A lot tougher than the pink that Jed Trump missed in the last round. to the red just above the black. So the wrong 70. side of the red to get to the black. Eighty. Just a little bit too hard. He was looking to be on the blue to split the reds. to be really under the cushion 22 tough pot Twenty. right in the middle there was no danger terrific pot yeah, and he didn't sort of build that up, did he, to be a difficult shot, even though it was. He's clearly feeling really good. Well, for a change, hasn't worked out. Got plenty of action on the Please. cue ball to draw it through the reds. He's not on a red. Nothing easy, anyway. He's looking at a cut to the middle. And it's worth taking on because it doesn't look as though he can leave anything. And he'd be on the black. Good. Great shot again. Just can't miss at the moment. Yeah, that was so clean, wasn't it? They have to be in the middles. And you could say he's a little unfortunate to have finished straight on the black. Left himself the red to the green pocket. Well, it's sort of what we associate with Trump, isn't it? Sort of recovery potting when you've lost ideal position. Wilson's kept it going for now, this break. But kind of looking for one moment where the final might turn. Maybe, well, Trump hoping maybe this will be it. middle of the pocket. It doesn't matter, does it, about them being difficult. Well, they took the risk to go into them. The red to the left of the pink would 46. go. The red to the right of the pink would go. And trying to win the frame at that visit. And it 
could so easily have been 6 0 that had it been on a red. Heavy. He was playing the cue ball to the ball cushion. And I think he's just about come far enough to not allow Trump to go for this red. And he isn't getting away with it. And that's surely end of frame, the way the reds are. He wasn't far away from the pot, but far enough. Just going. Yeah, you could hear the, from the audience reaction, there's a slight sense of sort of shock, I think, in the air. I mean, this wasn't easy by any means, but just the fact that Trump is not really playing a part in this match. Been so good all week. Probably been his best sort of consistent performance in the tournament until today this season. Yeah, I think that second frame really hurt him Thanks. to lose it and not getting another decent chance in the frames that followed. No. Well, I don't care who you are, it's going to be very hard to win from 6 0 down. 60. The world champion, the world number two, a winner already this season, someone to be confident, not the sort of character likely to fall apart. 70. So if Trump is going to win, then he really has to, well, first he get in, that's been a, an issue, but then start to work his magic. Highest break only 35, and all the rest have just been scraps. A <laughs> credit to Wilson. He's ploughing on here. 24. 25. He's just not missing at all, is he? And giving Judd, a Trump, uh, uh, Judd Trump a chance. He's taking full advantage. Powering that cue ball into... The best position. 32. 33. Well, he came here last year, lost 4 3 to Sam Craig in the first round. He had a disappointing season until, of course, Ball he got six. to Sheffield. But this has been a successful one, and things are getting better and better for. Karen. Thoroughly at ease in the surroundings. I mean, he, you know, it's been talked about. He's, uh, there's been matches where he hasn't been on the main table. You can understand why he wants to play on the main table. He's played well on it. And that includes today in this final. 48. Yeah, I don't care who you are. It's gonna. It's difficult to sit in that chair and watch this. You've got one man that can't miss. Sixty. And you've got another man that can't get a chance. Sixty. Sixty-six. Yeah, he's done this to so many himself. Of course, last year he beat Chris Wakelin, Trump 9-3 in the final. 70. He's been completely outplayed here, and he's not getting simple starters. Whenever he comes to the table, it seems to be 
a difficult one. 75. Well, Karen Wilson said he was looking forward to playing this final. He'll be absolutely loving it right now. He's out playing the world number one. from Karen Wilson, the highest break of the final so far. Magic here wouldn't need to find something, he needs it. 6-0 it is to Karen Wilson, remember it's only first to nine. Uh, he's got a good cue ball, but he's also left the shot to nothing. But nothing easy for Trump. Yeah, it's been the story, hasn't it, when he has come to the table. Like you say, it's not been what he needs, which is a kind of easy starter. Now, I played the cue ball to a good place. Had it gone in, he's nicely on the blue. If it doesn't go in, he's left it under the cushion. And this is a tough shot. He's knocking in every tough shot, though. Well, this is the difference, isn't it, Joe? You know, they were both difficult shots. He's still up. He's full of confidence, whereas Trump's feeling, I've got to make something happen. Absolutely. I mean, when Kyra missed the long ball there, at the beginning of the frame, he could have left an easy starter. But it was tough. And the table's been reversed. I'm sure that Kyra Wilson would have knocked that red in that Trump's just missed. He's full of confidence. And confidence plays a massive part in this game. No. The other thing is, if Wilson can win this final by a landslide, it plants the seed the next time they play. Which would probably be this season at some point. Fifty. in the reds up here. 22. 23. He gets some action on that cue ball, doesn't he? A little bit too much that time. just below the pink, I think we'll go to the right corner. 28. Twenty-nine. Finished the wrong side of the blue, he may take the pink.
It's gone wrong. He'll be disappointed with that. That was looking like 7-0. 35. He's touching that one. I'll just check this one as well. Yeah, touching ball. So, touching both reds. So, just looking for the hardest spot on the table to leave the cue ball for Judd Trump. Karen Wilson. 35. Chance at two reds, but difficult. <clears throat> this game can be so easy times and Judd Trump makes it look so easy sometimes. What? And that is a pure example of how easy the game can be. Now is he on the black? Hard to say. Millimeters here and there could make a difference. It was another great pot, though. That's been the difference, hasn't it? As he's increased his lead, he's been knocking those in. Judge Trump hasn't. <coughs> Round ball. <coughs> Just pushing the ground. A little safer in case Trump gets a chance. Trying to make it as difficult as he can for Judd. Yeah, great pot. And the angle not too bad. He might be able to get to that loose red from the blue. Well, he got a good cheer for that, didn't he? The crowd here would love to see some sort of rally. Yeah, not quite hard enough. Not enough left-hand side on the cue ball. Six. So, another tough one. Another pressure ball. That's another good shot. Again, not ideal on the black, but all he has to do is pot it, because there's a red near the pocket. Yeah, good shot. But look where the cue ball's landed. Now, this is tough for a natural right-handed player. <coughs> now, well played. <laughs> really getting behind Judd Trump. The red just below the pink will go. Do it. Twenty two. Not ideally on it. 
And this would be a bonus if this one goes. If he's found the gap there between everything, he's a little bit fortunate. Oh, we wasn't sure if the red was going to drop. But now, great chance. Not to win the frame, but to get right to it and compete in the frame. You'd like to be on the red just below the pink. So that's going to get to. Thirty eight. Forty five, forty six. side cushion to worry about. Doesn't need the brown now. 53. His first 50 break of this session. 54. Left a nice angle on the black to try and bring that red into play. Don't forget to pot the black. Perfect. Or is it? Has it just gone too far? I think he can cut that. Needs a red and a colour. Tougher than what it looks like on the TV. Just Trump, sixty one, right. twenty five in front. We'll need the brown for him. If there's to be any way back for Trump, he's got to win this frame, and he hasn't won it yet. It's close. It's close. <laughs> We've been here before. and put the brown safe. Can he bring it into play here? Yeah, good attempt. Good attempt, but the kiss is good, isn't it? Perfect on the blue. Be trying to leave an angle on the green to bring that brown into play. Six. Try 
Trump was unfortunate. Getting the cannon. Just pushing it past the middle. Right. Oh, he's too far, and you can see it in his face. That was a great opportunity to leave the perfect angle on the on the green. It's straight, ish, and that's Come all on. he could do with that shot. And now try and play a good safety in behind the black, maybe. Well, so we've got him behind the black, but he's got the snooker. <laughs> or has he? He was having a good look there, wasn't he? Just moments, it's cuttable this. Yeah, double kiss. Extended tension on the cue. Wilson needs the four colours for seven nil. Judd Trump's made by far his highest break of the match in this frame 61, but might not be enough. Well, that's just run absolutely perfect for the blue into the corner. Four. There's surely no way back for Trump if Wilson pots these three balls. Nine. And we're talking what half an inch he just pushed that red he got it we thought where he wanted it just went past that middle pocket if it had just stopped half an inch nearer he surely would have won this frame 50. it's a cruel sport at times judd trump's had many great days this is turning into a nightmare for him and the prospect of a whitewash in the final looms 27-0 when Wilson got the snooker. It looked like Trump at last would get on the scoreboard, but got the double kiss on the brown. Wilson cleared up 7 0. He's two away. And as I say, you know, you've got to start thinking about the whitewash now, which nobody had in their thoughts this morning. Well, whoever you thought would win, nobody was thinking that. Yeah, and these long reds, as I said earlier, get more difficult. What's the damage? It could have been a good kiss, that. Because it, had it not kissed, it would have left a red for certain to the right corner. Well, shouts have come on, but look where the cue wall's going. Couldn't afford to take one of the reds on. Still trying. Going towards the middle, another ball harder, and it would have been an easy pot to the middle. Very tough from there.
where the red's going. on the cue ball. He's pushed one over the corner. And it looks like he can pot it. Positional shot. Played it with topspin, which slowed the cue ball down. Once uh, won a Masters final from 7 0 down. That was a best of 17. You sort of cling to these historical things at this point. Ooh, what a good kiss that was. Could have gone so terribly wrong. like the world final though isn't it i mentioned at the start and it's that was a two-day match but he won the first seven there against jack jones and that obviously put a massive distance between the two of them that survived to the end albeit jack jones had a better second day well a chance the red to the left middle of the blue. And sometimes when you're so far behind, it's difficult to formulate a, a plan. And things can come so easy for the top players, but then you, you can't work out what to do next. This isn't Six. an easy leave as yet. Maybe if he took the green and then the red by the black spot, that's an option. Got choice of green Seven. or black.
So. Yeah, he didn't want that in. It would have been very difficult to get to the next red had that red dropped in. Now, yeah, does he play for the black? The pink. 16. Dangerous to play for the black. 17. Can he spend the afternoon with one winning contribution? Yeah, as you said, David is made of thousands. Breaks, what would he give for a 70 here? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, he's up against it, but certainly, if, were he to lose 9 0, were he to be whitewashed, that's pretty scarring going forward for the rest of the season. At least get on the scoreboard. It's been trying to get to that red by the black spot quite some time, but never had the option to be able to play for it. Forty three. That's okay, the black will go to the left corner. Forty four. Precise with this positional play here is have a look at the red. The two reds that are closest together. One of them will go to the left corner. But that's not the best positional shot. He could have done with being a bit closer to the red and straighter. Dangerous time now. Yeah, well played. And the blue going safe helps him. So this black, and whatever else happens, it doesn't look like Judd Trump will be whitewashed in the final. Even saying that, it just sounds unthinkable. But it was a real possibility before this frame. It's been a good break, this. But he's still massively up against it. Karen Wilson sitting pretty as the players prepare to take their break between sessions. He'll need just two more tonight to become champion. More satisfying, I would suggest, 68. not only to beat Judd Trump, but to beat him heavily, if that's what happens. Remember Wu Yizza against Neil Robertson at the English Open. He was 7-1 down. He got it very close. Came roaring back in the evening, only lost 9-7.
So it's not done yet, but clearly Wilson, 75. a big favourite. Seventy six. Oh, great attempt to split them. Eighty three. Yeah, we'd love to finish with a century. But at least he's won the frame. It's the only one he has won, 83 from Judd Trump. But Kyron Wilson must be absolutely delighted. He won two close frames, he made a series of big breaks, and the world champion is just two away from landing the Alex Higgins trophy. He leads the final. 7-1.